Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from NBA 2K16, and today we see something long overdue. We talking about practice, finally going to partake in some live practice. We've been neglecting that. I've been focusing on getting some of the connections built, and obviously with practice, it earns you another attribute upgrade, but since we have so many available still, didn't really put that on top of the list of things we need to do on our off days, but finally, giving it a shot here. Let's see what we have. This is where you can improve your skills, earning attribute upgrades, and available boost for your next game. Complete the scheduled drill. So there's always two drills to play, and then we can shoot around. You can get VC, I do believe, for making shots. Uh, I think there's, I haven't looked into it too much, but I think you can earn quite a lot of different things for various uh, accomplishments, I guess you do here within practice. So we'll just start putting some shots up until the coach calls us over. And I think actually the guys under the best will feed you the ball if you call for it. So we can just sit here, take some shots. You know what? We're going to give it to Porzingis. Porzingis, you needed that ball. He's going to think about shooting it. Oh, and see, there we go. We already make a shot over the backboard. Not sure how that was over the backboard, but we'll take it. And let's see what coach has to say here. All right, fellas, let's change it up for a bit. How many threes can you make in a minute? Freak, start it up. All right, so this should be right up our alley, the one-minute three-point challenge. Make as many as we can from anywhere behind the arc. We have to rebound our own shots, though, so let's start this one up, actually. And in taking part in this practice, it actually isn't too bad of a thing to try because this is going to be a big help to get our timing down. That's been the one issue we've had as the dual shock level is low, but that is going to affect us. But the jumper has been one of our weaker points as the timing just, I guess, I don't know if it's that much different from last year's game, but I've had a little bit of trouble getting that good timing of the shots. And you see here, we're missing on the timing quite a bit as we still only have two. We're almost halfway done, and we cannot get anything to fall. Let's stop here, take a nice set. We're in front of the three-point line. That's not going to count. Wasted shot there. Let's get it back over here in the corner. Our favorite spot, that corner three. We'll hit it there. That's going to give us three points. I'm not sure how many you have to get. It doesn't tell you how many you need to get for gold, but... I'm going to assume three is not going to be enough as we'll take a step back here, take our time, let it rip. And maybe it's just we're going a little bit too fast as it seems when we kind of sit and really set our feet that we get a better percentage shot. As there we go, two in a row. And that will be at that six points for the score. And what's that going to give us? Silver. Okay, so who knows how close we are. And then you see the gym rat badge is earned through practice. We get a little sliver right there. All right, fellas, competition time. Beat the pro. Let's go. All right, so we have another shooting drill. So nice that this practice has just two shooting drills. As you see here, alternating shots from the elbow, you get points. Actually, one point for make, negative two for miss, and it ends if you get negative five or plus seven. So a couple missed shots, and we are in trouble as we're trying to figure out how this drill works here. we got to be on the spot, I think, as long as it lights up red. If we don't like it, we can just drop it by hitting X. But we have negative one currently. We're back to zero here. we got to string together some shots as there's that perfect release as maybe we can get that going here from the elbow. I don't think we're close enough here. We're going to take it anyways. We make it. We now have two points. Let's get another one here. That's going to be three. We're finding some rhythm. That one's too far away. We're going to drop it. Yes, we dropped that one. I don't think that does not hurt the score at all. We'll take it here. That one a little bit too far out. We're now down to one point. There's a nicely timed shot. As Let's see if we can just keep it going here right on that elbow. There's another shot made. We're up to three. That one's too far away. Let's drop that one. Should have dropped that one. We take it anyways, and we miss. We're back down to one. We're going to take this shot here. We're back up to two. We got to get something going here. We only got two minutes, one minute left. We're halfway through, and we're still, well, we're back at zero here as we make that one. Come on now. Let's get out of the way, ball boy. What are you doing? As we're up to two, let's get something going here. Drop that one. That's no good. We'll get back to the other elbow. There we go, right very close to the hoop. As Let's see if we can just stay that close. Nope, drop it. Too far away. We got to get that nice rhythm. There we go. There's the rhythm, and we still missed that one. So we're at one. We've got to get to plus seven for the drill to end. I'm assuming seven is the gold level. Maybe we can get it with less than that, but we'll have to see here. Last half minute, four points as, look at this. We're getting a little bit better timing here. We're up to five. Can we get it? No, drop that one. Back to the other side. This one's going to be six, and one more shot. We'll end the drill. Very close. Can we get it? Perfect release, and yes, there it is. Plus seven. And what grade do we get? Bronze. I guess maybe we didn't do it quick enough. All right, fellas, good practice. I need that same intensity out here consistently. The coaching staff will be around if you need anything. 
So that is the end of our first practice. We'll keep shooting around here for a bit. Now, there are other things to do around the court, which we will try one of those here. As you see over there in the corner, there is a vertical jump thing over there. Let's just throw one down and then let's go over here, see what this is about. We'll try this one out this time. Vertical jump, hold L down, flick up to attempt your jump when the knees are fully bent. Not too difficult here. Let's see what we can do up and it's gonna be a 39.5. Let's see if we can get over 40. Time it a little bit better here. Nope, I guess that didn't beat our first jump. One more try, jump three of three. That's not better either. Let's see, what do we get? And it's going to be a gold. All right, so we at least get a gold there. So that's our first practice in the bag. I probably won't do practice super often because we still don't need the attribute boost quite yet, but I'll still go in there every once in a while just to keep working and we'll see how Trey can continue to improve. But that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any fish videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.